brings frequent anomalies, and also more development and field missions. Sadly, combat is not my thing. Luckily, data analysis is. Here, I'll walk you through the abilities of every Arcanist. Please, Miss Titer. 4F4B. Okay. Ge Tian, the descendant of Miamungs, a many thousand-year-old species living in the east of Eurasia. Miamungs are friendly and curious creatures. They normally have lengthy lifespans. They have different approaches to spending the years. He chose music. And sleeping. Besides their longevity, Miamungs are also gifted with the ability of bone reading. To put it simply, they can read other creatures' pasts through the shapes and patterns of their bones. Their bone wands allow them to do something that cannot be done with their claws. Like playing multiple instruments at the same time. And, needless to say, protecting themselves. Ge Tian will summon the bones and dive down, dealing reality damage to one target. And inflicting Shape of Bones on it. The enemy in Shape of Bone status will suffer decreased reality defense and take additional Genesis damage when under any attack. Gatian will start to channel and enter Bone Reading status, which provides him with a certain amount of Eureka. If he's in Bone Reading status at the end of the round, he may consume the required amount of Eureka and cast Admonition. Admonition will deal reality damage to the enemy afflicted with Shape of Bone status. If he doesn't have enough Eureka at the end of the round, he will consume all of the existing Eureka to cast Admonition. Ge Tian will rise into the air and play his Bone Flute, creating a special array, a prophecy told for certain rounds, which inflicts Shape of Bones on all enemies and provides him with Eureka. All allies in a prophecy told will receive a damage bonus, and the reality damage dealers will be especially strengthened. Wait a minute, people. I forgot to tell you this before I started. Array is a new mechanism. It's a field effect that continuously affects the allies in battle. Please note that firstly, arrays of different categories cannot stack. Secondly, for all enemies and allies, only one array can be active at the same time. And thirdly, the previous array will be replaced when a new one is cast. Remember these rules. And uh, forget about my oversight. <laughs> Back to business. After the first insight, Ge Tian will gain certain points of moxie if three or more reality damage dealers are joining the battle with him. The critical rate and critical damage of his skill Admonition will be increased when he's in a Prophecy Told. When he reaches Insight 3, he will inflict Shape of Bones on one random enemy at the beginning of each round, and receive additional Eureka if he's in a Prophecy Told when the round ends. Music is the vital vehicle for Ge Tian to cast his arcane skill. It is said that the finer the melody, the greater the power. You're probably not so good at music, but wish to play a beautiful song. That's why we need this. The electronic organ perfect for rookies. There are two mechanical arms attached to it. Put on the gloves and anyone can play a perfect piece. Like this. Hmm? Why is it getting faster and faster? Well, just a little harmless technical issue. If you experience the same problem, just pull your hands out at the right time. Don't worry, we have foreseen all the circumstances, and the electronic organ will continue to play till the end of the piece. 5768617427737468657067962666F72666F72. What's the player for? Hey, buddy. Did you drop this? 
No, what about this coffee pot? Or this flossing guy? <laughs> oh, now I remember. This was his stuff. You mean you want this? Hey, you're not off work yet. Check out this store and try your luck here. Shh, I didn't tell this to anyone else.